Hello there guys and welcome to room 42. I thought I'd try out this game since it looked quite interesting. It's uh, one of the RPG Maker MV games. So, awake, I guess I'll start a new game. What settings? Ah, okay, just uh, English, reading speed. Okay, that's all fine. Okay. Let's go awake. So we're apparently going to be trapped in a room with other people and we don't know how we got there. Sounds something like a plot out of the Saw movies or something. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, wait, what's this? I, I don't quite understand. We in a picture? What? Oh! Hello. Hey! <laughs> okay. That's kind of mean. Oh! Okay. Don't move the finger. Stop shooting. Oh, it goes by itself. Get out of the way, I'll shoot you both. I won't risk it. He's not like them, I'm telling you. How the hell can you be so sure, you stupid girl? Um, I heard that. Well, so the dialogue goes by itself without me pressing. Okay, so I have to keep up with the voices. Um... Okay. Um, I don't feel well. Oh my head. I don't feel well. See, I told you. Hey, you there. State your name before I blow your brains out with this uh, pistol of mine. What was that explosion? Is that a real gun? What was that explosion? Wanna find out? Stop it, you psycho. Don't make me repeat myself, Pong. Your name now. Well, shoot your dick off. Um. Well, I don't have a default name. Okay, I'll put Matt. Cause that's my name. BK. Oh, that's backspace, is it? Okay. Well, what's that? Forty-two over there. What? Oh, that's the uh, autosave. Matt, what? Are you there? If I ask you something. What if I don't remember my last name? He can't remember. Stop interrogating him. You think I'm going to eat that bullshit? Oh. Let's relax for a moment, everyone. Relax. I don't think you're going to find the situation we're jamming to body. Not like I intend you to do so. Okay. Getting all worked up isn't going to help us very much. Take a quick look at our friend here, Matt, was it? Yeah, that's right. Evidently, he's a patient from this hospital as well. He probably went through quite a heavy strain to end up in our bed, considering all these medical appliances around. Yeah, looks like you as well. You're in a wheelchair. I'm sure you'll all agree that given his condition, it would be uncommon for him to forget a thing or two. Yeah, I've got amnesia. In fact, all things considered, you are the biggest threat to us here, Mr. Watchman. You've got a gun. You can shoot us. Alright, uh, you want to have a getaway? Fine. Uh, don't take responsibility for anything that comes from this. Just remember, folks, I'm the one who's trying to keep us all alive around here. I don't know for how long, though. Where am I? What's going on? Well, we know where I'm in the hospital, so what's going on? Not the best of times to wake up, get it, that's for sure. I suggest you go back to sleep and pray those things don't get in here before help arrives, Fanny. Those things? Wait, we're being like besieged by aliens or something. They will come, they have to. Uh, if that's what keeps you from screaming running off like a scared kid into a chew there, that's fine by me. I'm not chasing after anyone, just to be clear. It's your job to keep us safe, isn't it? Isn't it? I'm sorry, but my patrol ended 30 minutes ago. I'm off duty now. Usually by now I'll be in the middle of drinking till I pass out next to some ugly chick. Or just, like, fill up with donuts and stuff. I'd be glad to sell for you instead, though, cutie. Oh, you just hit on her. Disgusting pig. Watch your mouth, sweetheart. Or should I remind you that I'm the only one in here with a weapon capable of repelling those things, yeah? Which I might use on you. Mm-hmm. 
there's two women. Are they sisters? They look identical. Yeah, that's more like it. Calm down, everyone. Let's try to get along with each other for the time being. We need to cooperate if we intend on getting out of here in one piece. Wouldn't you agree? Fighting isn't going to get us far. That uh, doctor guy down below hasn't said anything yet. Matt, welcome to the group. Thanks. All the girls are liking me already. That's that's good. There isn't much for us to do around here while we wait, but I'm sure you're curious about our current situation. Yes, I am, actually. I'd be more than happy to ask any questions you may have to do the best of my ability. Okay. Do I... Oh. Can you stand? I... Yes, so... Controls, movement. Uh, arrows, confirm, space... Oh, everything can be done with a mouse. Menu, cancel. Yeah, okay, I'll... Oh. oh, cool. You just jumped out of the bed. Yay, so what's in the menu? Items. Nothing. Settings. Oh, we already seen save, shut down. Okay. Uh, is that thing auto save at the top? It just happens auto save every time I open the menu or something. So. Are you feeling better? Uh, where am I? What's going on? Who are you? What time is it? Well, there's a clock right up there, so. Who are you? Oh my, where am I? So let me introduce myself. Ahem. My name is Orman God. I'm also a patient from his hospital. Orman God? That's a strange name for a woman. What, well, for a human more like? Nothing too serious, believe me. But as you can see, I'm carrying with me an unfortunate burden down below my waist. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, even if it's not under the best circumstances. Okay. Anything else you'd like to know? I. Yes. We ask what's going on. Let's see what's going on. I guess basically tell us far as we could gather it's some kind of virus outbreak. Oh okay. So it's a virus outbreak. Zombies and stuff. They think they lose track of themselves and behave instinctively like wild animals. They should know where no care for their surroundings or other people. Oh, is it like twenty eight days later then? They become sort of unpredictable. Uh, while it's the prayer they seem to be the only things keeping them going. Or we can just wait it out while they starve to death. We can only stay right for now. Anything else you'd like to know? Um, what time is it? <laughs> You've been sleeping quite well, haven't you? Yes. Today is Sunday, first of March, year 2007. That is exactly also the year. Don't bother trying to guide by that wall clock, as you can observe it isn't moving. Ah, okay. Okay. These modern gadgets lack class and resilience. They suddenly don't make them like back in the day. Such a shame. Hey, borrow my personal. I insist. Okay. Uh, do we need to to be able to keep track of time for some reason? You can return when it's over. Don't worry about it. Okay. And then, oh, it's also the five ready. Well, that that five minutes went by really fast. Anything else you'd like to know? Well, don't need to know where I am. Okay. I just think I'm fond of the idea of the dialogue just going by itself, rather than me, you know, pressing it uh, to go, wait, well, never mind. Oh, they're actually blinking, shit, that's pretty cool. Who are you? I'm Karina, Karina Aka. Cool name. Can't you remember anything at all? Mm, nope. Doesn't matter, it's good to know you're okay. Oh, wait, time is going whilst I'm talking to them. Shit, I hope I'm not like... Oh, shit, okay. Well, I've got to talk to everyone. Yes? Who are you? Welcome to Montag Hospital. My name is Maria H. May I assist you in anything today, sir? Are you like um, human resources or something? I'm trying to receive and appoint new patients here at Montag. The dull job, but not the worst either. I'm fairly new here. Okay. Next. Not like a woman is much now, though. Come on, we're being timed here. I just hope everything goes back to normal soon. Yeah, not gonna happen. Oh shit, time is going. Hmm. Who are you? Eek. Oh, well, two minutes for him to just to say eek. 
Uh, well, boy, I'm doing hope of getting on the side of your life. Watchman John, me at your service. Cool. You can't even imagine the mess on that, pure madness. But I've never seen anything like that before, and believe me, I've seen a lot out there. You get me, bro? Whatever comes from this, I don't think I'm getting back to work anytime soon. That much, I can assure you. Okay. Maybe I should take a vacation, visit my mom and the boy. That'd do for a change of pace and fresh air. Yeah, that'd be good. And get some donuts whilst at it. Anyway, nice to meet you, I guess. Sorry about them uh, earlier, don't cause too much trouble and we'll get along just fine so I don't have to shoot you in the face. Okay. Let's save before we do anything else. So, um, is there anything in here that we can take first? Uh, there's another, there's a spare wheelchair. Phone. Uh, any supplies around here? Why is that red thing pointing at? Is that like... Was it red? Do we like move it out of the way and is it like a secret passage? Well, let's go this way, I guess. Oh, bathroom. Okay. Oh, wait, where's the exit? That red one. Toilet? Oh, what's in the toilet? Don't tell me. Okay, you had a piss. Then what? Can I get a plunger? Okay, I don't know. That was kind of pointless. I don't know what that was for. And the time didn't go. We Pissed like in an instant. No time went at all. Uh, so what's going on? I don't understand. Time to distract me, boy. I don't know when they might try to break in. If you need to use a toy, help yourself now. Great. If you don't, catch my drift. Oh, so is that we're gonna like have a bladder control as well? Wait. So I guess I just ask last thing her. Huh? Whatever I had. Where am I? This is Montag Hospital, one of the few private medical institutions in town, also alright. We're currently in the sick room, located on the first floor of the main building. Uh, how many floors are there? Why are we stuck in this place? Well, you see, this is when things got complicated. Do you not remember either? When hell broke loose out there, we need to escape from them somehow. That's how we wound up in here. Okay. As you can see, the entrance door is locked and barricaded. It appears some of them are aware of our presence here, but none have been able to get in so far. Okay. So... We have to get out here, though. And once again, starting the windows and sticking outside until we can make sure everything is safe. Oh, boy. Anything else you'd like to know? Well, there's not anything else for really, is there? What do you... What do you know? Unfortunately, I don't know much about the Constitution, only information. She seems the smartest of the lot. The only information we have that this ball comes from what we've seen or heard. Okay. Maybe you should ask Marie over there. Did you know that she works here? Oh, the human resources lady, yeah? Okay. Something will happen at 1 o'clock. Uh, may I assist you in anything else? Well, what do you know? And aside from what you already heard, not much for you. Just a receptionist on a busy day. Okay. I like how those um, faces are actually blinking. Very busy day, mind you. People have been calling in from all over the country. Anemia, like symptoms, fatigue, dizziness. Anemia, you say? It's pretty unusual, to say the least. So... Wait. I also heard some rumors about strange fog in some suburbs. Some superstitious folks say it's from the devil or something. Can you believe it? Well... How to relate to this whole disaster? I'm not sure. One can only guess at this point. It's probably some military accident, like they were testing some kind of, like, chemical weaponry or something. I assure you, what Orman said about them is ten times worse. I saw it with my own eyes, it was right in front of me, and they, they tore Nikki's neck apart. Who is Nikki? Uh, I'll never forget the sound of her screaming. Oh no. <laughs> They're not human, even if their appearance is the same. It's like they were possessed by something. Possessed? Sounds like some kind of, yeah, chemical warfare weapon that went out of control, creating that fog. And people, well, that anemia, that means they lack hemoglobin or something. So maybe that's why they want to, you know, eat people, so then they can get 
that those of blood. Who knows? So I don't know what we're we actually doing. Do we? Can we actually? Yo, mate. I want to actually go and check out outside. What is it now? What do you know? But terrorism at time, maybe conspiring with the government. His guess is, is close to mine. Those bastards will do anything for power, no matter because us, the common people, are nothing but pawns in their poorest games. These accidents don't just happen overnight, you know. Okay. And you? Mm. This guy doesn't talk much, does he? What do you know? <laughs> He's not saying anything. What do you know? I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, you know nothing, Jon Snow. Okay, uh, but I still don't know what who is there. Oh, wait. Wait, something's happening. Did I hit? Was, it, was someone screaming outside? Oh, lost. All my work was for nothing. What? <laughs> what did you just say, pal? There's no hope. We're all going to die. We're all going to die. Lies, 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 lies. Hey, hey, give me a break, man. You wait this long to speak and that's the best you can come up with. Did you just snap all of a sudden or something? Well... Move. Ah, uh, no way, huh? <coughs> I said move aside, you defective lab rat. I can't stay here. I still have work to do. Whoa, relax, man. Take a break and sit your ass down while you're still on my good side, would you? Oh, you think you're big with your uniform and all, but in fact, you're nothing more than a gorilla in a cage. Well, not just uniform, he's got a gun, mate. You're not special, you're too good. You're going to die. Now move aside. Move aside, I said. I've been called a pig, a rat, and a gorilla today. I shouldn't get paid enough for this shit. Cut it out already, will ya? <laughs> Won't say it again. Move or I'll you regret it. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, clown? You gonna wrestle me into submission? Easy, gentlemen. Maybe we should all, um, you know, be civil. Oh, what the? <laughs> he actually bitch slapped him. That dick had just stabbed me with something. What the hell, man? Oh, syringe? I told you to move aside, but you didn't. Hey, you do, but you already mind. I will let you know that what you just did is illegal and you'll answer for it. Yeah. John, are you alright? Uh, yeah, just a scratch, nothing to fuss about. Maybe it's a tranquilizer or something. I don't think get away with it for free, you freak. <laughs> this is, uh. What you got there, girl? Show me. What? What? Syringe. Well, yeah, no shit, but what's in it? You may have no stung me without you. I'm like right in the middle here. Oh, yeah. Can you guys like... This is it, Dr. Bernhardt. I'm keeping you on the vacation hand. I'll be reporting you to the police as soon as I can. Oh. Can I... Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, did you inject me with? Answer me, damn it. Was it a virus? I understand you're upset, but the answer to one of these more ones. We don't live in the Middle Ages. I guess so. Maybe you should just toss him outside to die. No, Dr. Lewis, please tell us the contents of the syringe. Oh, she's a doctor. Oh, is he? Uh, Sodium tail pencil. Oh. Oh my god, John, wake up, John. Yeah, it's like some kind of tranquilizer. It's used as an injection and right rapidly attack the brain, cause a state of complete unconsciousness. Yeah. How could you, monster? I don't need to explain myself to any of you. Now, if you excuse me, I'll be leaving now. Where do you think you're going? <coughs> I don't think so. Corina, what are you doing? You're staining him, Maria. Take these handcuffs and help me. Oh boy. Has it really come down to this? 
I guess so. We don't have a choice. We can't risk opening that door no matter what. Can't be helped. Fools, we're all going to die whether the door opens or not. Mark my words. Shut it. Let's get this done then this before he tried anything else. How can I help? I'm just standing there. Oh, what did we do? Oh shit! Okay. Wait, is he still? Is he still alive? Is he? What? It's cold and dark in here. Cold and dark in here. I would lock someone in like a janitor's cabinet or something. He's like sleeping. Oh, he's like tied to a bed. Stay away from me, for your own good. Okay. It's too late. There's no way out. Okay. Untie me. Oh, they're not talking. Didn't you hear me, low lives? Untie me now. Oh, he's going to cause trouble, seriously. Shut up for a second, will you? He's going to wake up soon, and when he does, he will kill us all. He will kill us. Mark my words. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Of course you don't know. That brute over there is going to turn into one of them once the drug wears off. How do you know? Has he been bitten or something? That cannot... Can you to explain, Doctor? Oh, you imbeciles are clueless. Now release me at once. You don't have the right to keep me restrained like this. I'm a human being. He's being too loud. Shut up, this is your last warning. Or I'll put a bullet in your face. Ha ha ha, you'll get it soon. He's the one who should be locked up, not me. How about we we'll lock him up together with you? So you'll be his first meal. What if he's right? He's bluffing, obviously. I wonder about that. He's trying to divide us. You just moved. Well, no shit. He slowly regained control of his body. What I said before, it wasn't a lie. Look, if you uncuff me, I can cure him before it's too late. Uh huh, sure, sure, sure. You can cure him. What do we do? Nothing, obviously. Okay, I understand your stance, but I don't think it'd be wise to ignore this threat. What do you want me to do then? Let's say that there's the slightest bit of truth in what he's saying. Do you really believe he has a cure for it? I mean, really, think about it. Let's take a moment to decide what we should do with the doctor. We're all in this together, whether we like it or not. Okay. Fine, you're in my stand, but uh, he's always lying. Don't let him control you by fear. Well, that's what he's doing. Basic psychology. I think we should untie him. Uh, well, I don't agree with his behavior. Judging from his credentials, he's a doctor. So, so there's a possibility of him knowing what's going on better than any of us here. Okay, and what's yours, uh, Mrs. Uh, receptionist? Even if he isn't telling the truth, he doesn't approach the threat to us anymore. He's not disarmed and won't be able to make it to the door with you there, keeping watch. Well, well, he has more syringes. What do you think, Maria? I don't like him, but we can prevent Raja and Red not risk it. I wouldn't want being locked in the same room with one of them. You two saw what they could do to us. I haven't seen them yet. I want to release him, but maybe only until we know it's safe. Sorry. Okay, so... Matt, I don't want to pressure you, but this really comes down to you. Oh, is it? So, it's, well, three different options. Uh... Hurry! So what am I supposed to Freed or locked? <sighs> okay, fine, we'll free him for now. We're gonna be watching you, mate. I hope you're under wrong about this. Alan Coffin, could you pass me the keys, Karina? Sure. Thanks, now, now. The wheelchair lady moves around the most here. 
You said you can cure him, right? Well, can you? No, I lied. I believe so. There may still be something I can do for him. Let me check. And the dimension. I lied. I'll need a hand with this. You want my hand? Quick, there's not much time left. Okay. Maria, can you assist him? Well, I'm not a nurse besides. Besides what? Fine, I'll get it. Hold it. <coughs> Hold it at least. Oh, give me another gun. Oh, I need you to put pressure on this area right here. Do it. Can I do something? Like this? Hey! Yeah, see? You ran to the bathroom. You're deceiving Hyena, open the door. Well, well, he's in the bathroom, what's he gonna do? He was outside the bathroom, we were tricked. Oh, shouldn't have given him the benefit of a doubt. Are you okay, lady? I can't believe I actually believed him. I hate men like that. Don't make it about men. <laughs> Are you right, Karina? Yes. <sighs> you make. John, is that you? Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm gonna be careful. I think he's coming for you. Um. What? Can Maria? What? I I can. What? You take. Shoot him. Oh my... Can I do something? Can I do something? Give me the gun! Before he kills her! Okay. Aim with the cursor and left click is to shoot. Okay. You missed my turn again. Well... Okay, shut up. Okay, I got him in the shoulder. Uh, wait, did he kill her? Oh my god, he just stunned me. He's coming for us now. In the face! Oh, go him in, in like in the chest. See? Shoot him in the head. We didn't have much of a choice. Fuck, so that doctor wasn't bullshitting, was he? Did we? This can't be real. Is she okay? Or is she gonna turn into one of them as well? Oh! Karina, Matt, are you both alright? Did you get hurt anyway? Well, I didn't. I was holding a gun. How could I get hurt? I was careless. What do you mean you would kill us? It's not your fault, Karina. No, I was here because I foreseen this turn of it. What do you mean you were careless? You were just standing there. The guy went for you. It's not like limited to this room with this whole incident. So, these infected people, they literally look like normal people. That's not it. What do you want to say, Maria? John behavior. The maniac knew he was going to turn into one of them all along. Yes. Isn't that right? Open the damn door and talk to me. He's an asshole. Coward. Maybe he's escaped through some secret floorboard or something. I mean, do make valid points, but we can't force him to talk, can we? You just tell him. He must have his reasons. Besides, if he didn't know this was going to happen, why would he have ended up locking him with us? Had he predicted this, don't you think he would have flown somewhere safe by now? Mmm. I don't know. Who knows? I don't care about any of that. The only thing about is coming down is getting out alive. That means being a crap out of him in the process to be. Yeah, I mean, he's already he's already broken our trust, so he doesn't get second chances. We have to be patient. Fuck patience. Patient? I'm tired of waiting. People keep dying and going mad, and there isn't even a sign of help. What's even the point? Well, she just said, I thought her legs just gone for a second there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore. Well... I understand how you feel, Maria. We all do, but let's take it easy for now, okay? Um... Yo, guys, don't ignore me. You clearly don't. What? Okay... Alright, I think... On this note, I shall save... And we shall finish. What's this? Like, who's in my party or something? Are they in my party? All the chicks? Cool. Um... 
so I'll save here and we'll continue next episode. Pretty cool game so far. Um, quite nice idea and all this. So we'll continue in the next episode. So bye bye.